All right, so here we'll be preparing the burette for the titration of our KHP, which I have warming. right over here. So while that's warming and dissolving in my titration flask, I'm going to prepare my burette. So the first thing you're going to want to do is rinse your burette with some distilled water. The stopcock is parallel to the burette length, so that's going to allow your water to pass through, will allow our water to go through there. While that's happening, I'm going to transfer my dilute NaOH. So we prepared about 0.1 for you. You took from a sock solution, use the volumetric flask, or sorry, rather metric, the volumetric pipette and prepared this dilution there. So I ran that through with water. Now I'm going to run it through with my dilute base. Make sure that your NaOH transfer beaker is cleaned and rinsed with the solution that you are using. So now I'm just running this through and I'll do two rinses of the solution that I'm gonna be standardizing. Okay, my flask looks pretty good. All the KHP looks dissolved. I labeled it number one. It's important to rinse the sides of the flask before you begin to get any KHP down into your titration solution. Okay, so that's one rinse. The second one through. And I will top it. Off was my solution. So this is preparing the burette for your titration. So we're ensuring that the solution that is in here, which is our dilute sodium hydroxide, is at the same concentration in the original flask. All this rinsing with water can make your solution diluted, and that's a no good. The point of this is we are going to find out exactly how many moles of sodium hydroxide are in this solution using the reaction of KHP, the one-to-one -one ratio. So we have weighed by difference. I've transferred the KHP in here. I've added 75 milliliters of water to dissolve it. And now I'm going to get on with my titration. Before we do this, you want to make sure the point of this is we have to put in our indicator, which is phenylphthalein and the direction say three to five drops. So make sure to do that, two, three, four, five. It's probably six, but it's fine. So again, I have that all ready. And I've set my burette here to the zero mark. So I know I'm starting at a titration volume of zero. 0 0.00. Okay. Get my flask in. And I'll start my titration. So I'm going to zoom in on the solution now for you so you can see. So you can see the color change we're looking for. Turn that up for you. 
Alright. So I'm starting at zero to my start my initial titration volume for my burette. And I'm gonna go through. So as we're doing this, I'm adding, and you wanna the first titration will be rough because you don't know what volume is gonna take to titrate. So you might be seeing this pink color forming at the point where my base is hitting this acidic solution. So what it's doing is it's reacting, but any base that hasn't reacted yet, it's showing that pink color. So the end of the reaction is going to be once I have that full pink color throughout the solution. And we want it to be a very light pink because if we get it right at that titration volume, that's the exact amount of NaOH we needed to react with the KHP known in here. So this is flask number one. Let's actually rinse this down so you can see. You can see as you get closer to the, oh, and there we go. So as you can see, I have my pink color, and that is going to be the appropriate color you want for your titration. I'm going to rinse down the sides here, so any unreacted KHP will fall down and actually react and can make that color a bit lighter. Awesome. So that's titration one, and I'm going to record that volume. So I started, and let me get a piece of paper here. So my initial volume was 0, 0.00 milliliters. My final volume, and this is for one, titration one, I can see I have 38. 0.75, let's say, 38.75 milliliters of NaOH. So that's my first titration volume for number one. I'm going to zip through this now, and we'll figure out what the concentration is here.